Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome to our space. So for today's video, we're gonna be using some Target Bullseye Playground items for our DIYs. So let's just get started. First of all, I have here a wooden woven basket that is $5. It's like a Tabasco basket and that is from Target. The next I'm going to be showing you here two wooden trivets. These are from Big Lots and they're on sale right now for $4.49 for both of them. We are only going to be using the round one in this DIY, but I wanted to let you guys see that you get two of them. Also, I have a round reform, the foam one from Dollar Tree, and then also from Big Lots, I have their little red truck ribbon. I have it from last year, but I'm pretty sure they have it this year too. Also, I have both the green and red ribbon that came from Joanne Fabrics, and I'm going to be using some faux fur ribbon, a different one, and then this one here that came from Dollar Tree with trees on it. So we're going to start off with our foam reform here, and we're just going to wrap this faux fur ribbon around it. I got this last year at the end of the year on clearance, but Joanne's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, everywhere carries this. I do believe this one was actually from Big Lots as well. So they probably have some also. I decided to use this one because it's a whole lot furrier and I wanted to give this a kind of little bit of a whimsical feel. And so we're just wrapping it all the way around, making sure I do it sort of diagonally so I can cover up all of the green. Right here where it connects is going to be the top of this and I am going to be putting a bow on it. So... I just wanted to make sure that it was nice and fluffy. So once you fluff it out like I'm doing here, we're going to take it and set it inside of our tobacco basket. I'm just going to call that it that because that's what they normally are called. And then I am going to grab a zip tie. I have an extra long one here. I could have did a shorter one. And I'm just going to go around the reform and around the basket and tighten it down so it stays. I'm doing it like this just in case I want to take it apart. I don't want to glue down to the actual reform and the basket in case I want to change it out for seasons. So once I do that, I cut off the end. And next I am going to be taking our trivet. And I'm just going to make sure I know where I want it and try to fluff the fur up around it. And then I'm going to be putting some hot glue on the back of it and gluing it down actually to the reform. You don't have to put the glue all the way around, but I am making sure I'm getting the edges because I don't want it to fall off in case I decide that I'm going to hang this on the wall. So I'm just going to hold it here and let it dry a little bit because my Ryobi hot glue gun is a high heat glue gun and so I don't want it to drip through the reform. So then I am making sure that it's pretty straight and I glue it down. So next what we're going to do is we're going to make one of my Lacy Space bows. I call it my whimsical chaotic mess bow. I know a lot of people make a messy bow and I do mine a little bit differently. It's the way I've been doing it for years and years on end. And so I'm going to show you guys here quickly um, how I do it. I do have a bow tutorial in my description box that you guys can go over and watch me do the same thing. Um, in all of my description boxes for my videos because so many people want to know how I do this bow. So what I do is I lay out all my ribbons and it's normally somewhere between three and five ribbons. Usually I try to stick with about four and they can be any size ribbons that you want. I am using four of them here, a very small one, a thin one that's like an inch and a half, and then two that are about two inches, maybe two and a half inches. I didn't really look. Then I fold them all over like this and I usually make sure I do at least three full turns and on this one you can see I run out of the red ribbon. It's more like a wine color that's um, gold on the back and so I just stop there. Then I take a smaller zip tie and I am going to be wrapping around all of these ribbons. I fold it in half and bend it up. And what you didn't see is that I also cut into the wire on either side of the entire bunch and I do it diagonally and make sure they're not directly across from each other. 
Then I am here taking some scissors and just cutting all the loops apart. Now, a lot of people just cut loops and stack them on top of each other, but I find this way works really well for me because what I do is I fold them over and it makes the ribbons different lengths on the inside. Some are shorter and some are longer and it just comes out to a nicer, fluffier bow. So after I do that, I go through and I take and I cut the ends of all of the ribbons. Um, on these little skinny ones, I'm just doing them diagonally and on the rest of them, I dovetailed them. So as you can see here, they're all dovetailed. I did leave one of the um, sides longer because I knew I was gonna put a tail on this. But after I do that, I just cut them all down to where they're kind of close to the same length once I decide where the bottom of this is gonna be. And it's normally where my zip tie is. You can use floral wire too. I do that in my bow tutorial. But when it's really thick like this, I do um, zip ties now. So after that, you fluff it up. And I did not show you that. It takes forever to fluff my bow. So I am here after I fluffed it up, I cut an extra piece of ribbon to make the tail on the other side of this. And you will see that I cut those tails down a little bit extra after this because they were a little long for this project. But I glue it to the top to make sure you can still see the sign. And I also add in a little bit of the burgundy wine color underneath and tails that are dovetailed. And this thing is completely done. There is nothing hard about this project. The hardest part is making the bow, but once you watch my tutorial, I'm sure you can do it. And then next, we are taking this coffee pod holder. It's shaped like a cup, and we're going to take it and spray paint it with Rust-Oleum. I think it's red apple. Any color red paint would work. That's what it looks like. And then I also have from Target that these uh, gift tags, I had them in my stash, but they always sell gift tags every year. Some ribbon from Michaels, dusters from Dollar Tree, and then some markers. So what I just wanna do is take a piece of ribbon and put this through and around the center of this cup. I just cut it down and what I'm doing is I'm gluing it to the top in the middle of the cup. Now I count this middle section from where the handle is over to the middle on the side because I'm going to be using those gift tags on the side of the cup. So from where the handle is, turn it sideways and then look to where the middle is. I loop my ribbon underneath one of the rungs to this cup and then I go around the cup and loop it under one on the other side where the middle of the side would be. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So when you have it sitting in front of you, put the handle on the side, like you pick it up and find the middle section. And that's where we wanna glue down the ribbon. The ribbon has like a metallic going around the edge. If yours doesn't, it's no big deal, but I'm putting the glue on the metallic side of it. And then I'm gluing it down. This way I know where these meet up is where my, um, gift tag part will go and it will cover the entire thing up. So once I do that, I'm going to take these dusters from Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree still had these. I know some people said they can't find them. They also have the duster mops that are furry, or you can use some more for ribbon. Any kind of furry looking thing along the top will work. I'm making this so it looks like there's kind of whipped cream coming out of the cup. So I end up having to use one and a half of these dusters and I'm showing you here how I pull it apart. I did speed this up a little bit. Take your time and just separate it where the handle comes in and pull it apart. I flatten my thumbs out on it as you can see to do it. Then I'm just going to take a dab of hot glue and go around the edge on the outer rim and glue this down. Once I get the full one, this long one around, then I'm going to turn the cup over and do the inner portion of it so I can see where it is and run the glue around. And then I will put on the second piece, which I'm only luckily have to use half of it. Now this has like a paper backing to it, so you can see it. And I'm sorry if it's going really fast, but it's self-explanatory. And I didn't want you guys have to watch a 35 minute video 
watching me glue this down. So you're just putting the glue on the edge of the top of the cup and then you're folding this over and then you'll fluff it up like I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna take the second one and it has a paper edge on it. So I'm gonna cut the paper edge off and glue it to the other paper edge. So then my fur will go continuously around. And then when you get to the middle of it, it's paper too. And you can just cut the paper without cutting the furry part. As you can see, I cut a little extra off there. And then I'm gonna glue that down to the other paper edge and do the same thing, gluing all the way around the inside. Now I'm gonna take my gift tags because I don't really wanna use the snowman side. I decided I wanted to put some writing on it and I'm just painting them with Waverly chalk paint in ink. It's black. You can use any acrylic chalk paint, whatever in black for this, or you can do it any color you like. I just decided to do black. I paint both of them on the outside following the grain. And then I'm taking a Dollar Tree chalk white marker and I'm gonna write hot cocoa on this one. Um, I do hate writing on things. I hate it, I don't do it all the time. Um, I have a Cricut and I would cut out vinyl for this, but I want to show you guys that you can just do this or you can get stickers from Dollar Tree or any other craft store and just put the letters out like this. Or if you already have a little plaque that says hot cocoa, it will work out. But I'm trying my hardest to go ahead and write this out so you guys can see. And I just trace over it more than once. And then I decided on the middle for the O, I'm going to fill that completely in. And in a minute, I'm going to take a red Sharpie. And I'm actually going to go around the edges of all the letters and make the O on hot into a like a peppermint by doing uh, little swirls. I didn't show you all that because then I wrote coffee on the other one and did a little reef and a little tree and stuff. It's just personal preference. You know, I'm not a big painter or drawer on things. So I just skipped ahead to this part. So now I have a wooden dowel that I had painted white for another project and I cut it down using some miter shears and then I'm just gluing some red ribbon around it, just like this. It's really easy. I just had this red ribbon in my stash. I think it came from Joann's. You can use any ribbon, but I'm making a straw to stick out of the cup. So I put a little hot glue on the bottom of it and I'm just pressing it up where the handle is on the bottom so it would stick to the um, fur. I'm not even trying to stick it to the actual cup. And then I'm gonna put a little of it on the top. It's really lightweight. It is wooden and it is just a dowel. So now it's stuck in there really easy. And I've decided that I want to cover up the little holes. I was gonna tie it on with some Baker's twine, but I have these little beads. And so I put a little dab of hot glue on the holes to these gift tags. And I just covered them up because I'm never gonna use them for gift tags. And I'm going to glue them over where my side is connected with the ribbon on the side of the cup. So I don't show you how I do the first one here, but I do show you how I do the second one. So don't fret. So the coffee one is on and then I'm going to turn it over and I kind of stuck that one to the table there. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cover up where these were connected and glue that down. And then this cup is done. It was super easy and fun. You can put your coffee pods in here, your K cups, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do with mine. So on to our final DIY. I got this sleigh. It was five dollars. Also, all of my items were five dollars from Target. I also have this little deer that came from Michaels last year. I have some buffalo check ribbon from um, Dollar Tree. All of these accessories here are from Dollar Tree. Little. Um, bells and the greenery and then I have a small thing of Waverly chalk paint in the color lacquer I thought this was the color I wanted to use because it has more of a whiny Color to it and not like a bright bright red, but it did not coat this greatly So I do later and I do not show you this but I do later dab it with some Waverly in crimson, which is more of a bright red, but over the lacquer, it still has a deeper tone to it. And then we're going to take our sleigh. I removed the twine hanger from it, and I'm going to then glue down our little uh, deer on the top 
portion closer to the top portion and leave some space underneath it because now we're going to take some of the greenery here they come off in little sections so i'm just pulling them off the stem and i'm going to glue those down underneath the deer we're going to decorate this area just a little bit i'm going to place two on each side and i'm going to do two of them that are pointing a little bit down they both have these little white glitter balls on them too so I'm going to kind of mimic each side and have it sort of be symmetrical and uh, hold them down here with my silicone spatula from Dollar Tree. It's a really good tool to use so that you don't get the hot glue on your hands. And so two of the, these were the same and then one of them was different. So I changed it out because I wanted just one of the little white balls on each of them. And and once we are done with that, then we're going to take our two ribbons. They're both from Dollar Tree. That's that red satin I used before and the buffalo check. And we're going to make a couple of little bows to go on here. But before I do that, I'm going to cut a string and tie it back at the top in case I wanted to hang this where I took off the twine that was on it. Um, I'm just going to cut it down more than once because I, I didn't like how long it was the first time and double knot it I'm not going to glue it or anything it'll be very easy for me to take it off as you see I undo this side because it was a little bit long on the sides and I wanted it to be a little bit longer at the top I am going to cut the sides down in a minute but I went ahead and decided that I was going to do my bows before that to make my bows, all I'm doing is making a shoelace bow just around my fingers and I'm going to leave some longer tails in it. And so I'm then going to just glue it down to the middle of the opening underneath the deer's head and just hold it there for it to dry for a second. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing with the buffalo check and I'm going to set that one basically right underneath the red one. These are really thin, lightweight bows. You can put them right on top of each other if you want as well. I'm just making sure that it's nice and tight and the loops look about the same. I'm also going to cut down on a diagonal the tails here so they're not super long. And I just glued it down. I'm sorry, I don't have the footage of that. It's just a dab of hot glue. Now I decided I just want to use the silver bells that I already had that were open. They're a little bit smaller than the other Dollar Tree bells. I think these came from Dollar Tree a couple years ago, but I didn't have any other silver ones. I'm taking three of them and I'm going to do them in a little cluster in the middle. So I put down a dot of hot glue to start these off and they are so tiny with my nails to pick them up. I was just nervous I was going to get glue all over my nails. So I'm using my new Ryobi. Um, tweezers they have silicone on the end so it's great that the glue won't stay stuck to them and I'm picking them up because the bottoms have the little loops that you can feed twine through and I want them to stay with the bottom section in the glue and not flip over so they look really cute in a little cluster of three you can use any color decorate this any kind of way you want if you have one of these sleighs but I just love the fact that it really cute and I have everything all at the underneath portion of this deer instead of putting it above the deer and excuse my hair there again I'm totally in the frame but this is it and it is basically done so here we are you can see I cut down the tails on the top of the ribbon that I put up top but I love how this turned out and it was super simple so that is it for this video. Comment down below. Will you make any of these? Did you get any of the things from Target's Dollar Spot, the Bullseye Playground? I just love how all of these turned out. And I have the little deer and the cup over by my coffee station for uh, Christmas season. I have hot cocoa in them for the uh, little cape. K cups, I think that's what they're called. I also have another stand that has my regular coffee in it. But if I wanted to change it out, all I do is flip the cup around. And I think that is a great idea. So that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, liking, and always sharing my videos. And if you're not a subscriber here, go ahead, click that subscribe button, hang out with us for a while. I have some more DIYs coming at you for the Christmas season really soon. Bye, loves.